got a whole range of things. First of all, giving uh, the people on the lowest incomes money directly off their bills. We've introduced something called the Warm Home Discount, which will help two million of the lowest income families get £135 direct off their bills. We're also making it easier to switch because people can save literally hundreds of pounds by switching their energy supplier or tariff. And we think making it easier to people, for people to be more energy efficient is another big way. Um, I'll be publishing Britain's uh, first fuel poverty strategy in March, uh, first since for over 12 years. And we're going to have a whole range of new ideas to try to help people in fuel poverty. It's a real, really big issue uh, and we want to make sure that uh, competition plays a part. We've seen a lo load of new energy suppliers come into the market in the last two, three years, offering much better deals than some of the older energy companies. So that really can help people uh, deal with these high, high bills. Um, but we also want to look at where the problem is, uh, make sure we're identifying it better. The old way of measuring fuel poverty even included the, f the Queen in fuel poverty because she was having to spend more than 10% of her income on heating her homes because she's got a large home. Uh, so we're now measuring fuel poverty in a better way which will really identify those people who are in the worst fuel poverty and already we're seeing that that's focused in on people living in off-gas grid homes, people having to use expensive heating oil and also people living in the private rented sector. So now we're identifying it much better than they have in the past because we're measuring it much more effectively. We're going to be putting even more effort to reach out to those people who are suffering from fuel poverty. It's frustrating that sometimes uh, you find people who could be getting help and haven't heard about what's available. So we've been working with the third sector, with the Citizens Advice Bureau, with National Energy Action and others to build something called the Big Energy Saving Network. We're funding it to training specialist energy advisors to go out to meet people face to face, people who aren't on the internet, who uh, don't go out enough and who can uh, therefore get better advice, a, a friendly face, a trusted face, who can explain what benefits they may be entitled to, how they can get help to make their, uh, to replace a, uh, an old fashioned inefficient boiler, all those sorts of things that are practical measures. So the Big Energy Saving Network is a new initiative with a government working in partnership with the voluntary sector to try to make sure people know what's available to help them. Well, they could go to their local advisor, the Citizens Advice Bureau. They could uh, phone the Energy Saving Advice Service, 0300 123 1234. They could go to www.turntours.org dash fuel poverty uh, and they can get advice there. So there's a range of uh, helplines and websites and people who are in your community who you can go to to get that advice.